Hello, I am Ariane Conti, a philosopher in the International Studies Department at the American University of Sharjah, presenting a video abstract of my article published in Theory, Culture and Society called The Politics of Nature, New Materialist Responses to the Anthropocene. My research has been focusing on the Anthropocene, not only because of the urgency of finding an ecological response to climate change, but also because of the repercussions of such a new geological era on human agency and agency to court. Now that the divide between nature and culture is no longer tenable, and we can no longer separate moral issues from biological concerns and politics from nature, we need to reevaluate our epistemological and ontological claims regarding what it means to be human. Philosophers like Bruno Latour have been undermining the nature-culture divide for the past 30 years, well before atmospheric chemist Paul Crutzen coined the term Anthropocene in the year 2000. But because many scholars claim that such dualities are themselves partially responsible for the ecological decline that constitutes the Anthropocene, much new scholarship from many different disciplines is now following Latour's lead in seeking to undermine the dualities set up in modernity to avoid the implications of the interdependence of all of matter. New materialism is the name that has been given to this diverse body of scholarship that is devoted to celebrating the materiality of our world and its non-human actors and seeking to undermine the humanist understanding of exceptionalism that set the human apart from other forms of life by an unbridgeable ontological chasm. These two enemies are indeed allies, since it is the belief in humanist exceptionalism that informs the human subject against a world of objects, human culture against a world of nature, and human reason against a world of matter. Though these scholars pay tribute to Latour and actor network theory, they disagree on whether certain new distinctions should replace the old ones, or whether all forms of agency should be treated equally. Thus, political theorist Jane Bennett opts for a flat ontology that treats all agency equally, whether it be that of a vacuum cleaner, a polar bear, or a Syrian refugee. Other new materialists contest such a flat ontology and seek instead to transform the nature culture distinction into an animate, inanimate distinction that is able to differentiate between stones and anteaters. The danger with flat ontologies that conflate animate and inanimate materialities is that they are unable to take into account causality and value judgments that ensue from experience over time leading to forms of determinism that occlude the possibility of political change. Yet though such flat ontologies are problematic, how are we to differentiate between forms of agency without falling into the dichotomies of modernity? <clears throat> My article seeks to defend a new materialist ontology that avoids the scylla of apolitical flat ontologies and the charybdis of modern dualities in order to develop a politics and an ethics adapted to the Anthropocene age. In order to formulate an ethics and a politics that can respond to the ecological challenges we are currently facing, new materialist scholarship must find a way to differentiate between materialities, both animate and inanimate, that seek their own equilibrium over time, and those materialities, whether made or evolved, that are unable to do so. Though Latour's reasons for rejecting inner intentionality as a cause of external action are justified and should be retained, Interiority does not have to be equated with intentionality. Rather, following anthropologist Eduardo Cohn, interiority can be equated with the semiotic ability to remember a past and project a future form in conformity to an environment. Agency is thus reserved for what Cohn calls thinking selves, and Cohn includes forests, glaciers, and ecosystems under this category. It's only through developing an ecological politics that involves all such thinking selves that we will be able to understand politics as a process that leads to the codification of power alliances, but does not itself need to reinforce them. My article will claim that such causally informed cells should be taken very seriously, for they can replace a future of deterministic obligations that reinforce the power relations responsible for the Anthropocene with the foresight necessary to enable a shared future.